Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another spooky season look. This is just a little tutorial for this look because this gives me absolute autumn, cosy, sour apple as the title probably says or poison apple whatever I chose kind of vibe. I don't know why that inspo came to me but it did. I think I seen this colour combo together and I was like ooh reminds me of an apple. Then I was like ooh reminds me of a poisoned apple. Ooh that could be a Halloween -y kind of look or an autumn sort of look. I just think the colours are beautiful. I had the perfect palette to go with it which you'll see and this right here. Oh, oh just wait for it. Wait for it. You'll see that coming up in the video. But I just really like it. The dark lip, you could do a nude lip, you could do a, a more brown sort of lip if you wanted to. You could do a green lip, which would also be fun. But I thought this would go really well with those burgundy tones and keep it very autumnal. So I love how this looks turned out, by the way, in case you can't tell. I really, really like how this turned out. I'm going to leave this on me for a little while and do a bit of editing because that's my life. My life is editing right now because it's so busy. Before we get into the full tutorial, my Instagram is linked down below and my TikTok as well, where you can see the up close eye pictures and full face pictures of this look coming up soon. And also my TikTok is just a fun time. So go follow that down below. And then don't forget to subscribe down below to see many more spooky seasons coming up and much more coming up in November, December. All the winter Christmassy vibes are coming as well. I don't just do spooky, I do Christmas as well because I love Christmas. And yeah, I think that is everything. So let's get into the actual tutorial for this. Okay guys, so I already have my skin, brows and eyeshadow primer on. We're gonna play and we are gonna play with a palette that I've never played with and a brand I've never used and a formula I've never used in my life. It's Morphe. I have a Morphe palette, guys, okay? So I actually bought this off, well, no, I didn't buy it. My friend got this that I work with and then she was getting rid of it. And I was like, oh, that's the only palette I've ever actually been interested in. Morphe, not interested in anything else that they do, really. But she was like, oh, I have it and I'm getting rid of it anyway. Do you want it? And I was like, okay. And I was like, fully prepared to give her money for it. And she was like, it's going in the bin or it's going to someone. So you might as well have it. You'll actually use it. But it's this, I just love the amount of greens because I know they've got another one that's all like pinks and reds with like two greens in it. That's not enough green for me in a palette like this. So I love that there's like two rows of greens, quite grungy, quite, quite autumnal. And yeah, I think it'll be fun. So we're going to play with some of the greens and one or two of like the more burgundy red sort of shades down here. I do have a very fun pigment to use as well. Pigment is not from Morphe, by the way. It's from Inglot and it's beautiful. Mwah, wait until you see it. It's magical. So anything that I already have in my face is listed down below. So you can see all that there. We're just going to go in and get started. So we're going to use a lot of greens from this palette. Um, I'm going to start with this one up here. This is like the fourth shade in. So that one right there. And I'm taking that on a Cash Beauty K07. I'm using like my really good blending brushes for this because I know Morphe formula is not the best formula in the world and I want to try and give it a good fighting chance by using brushes that are going to really pick the shadows up and apply them the way I want them to. So that is just going to go on the outer corner. We're going to do a two-toned crease. We're going to do three different shimmers on the lid. Maybe, maybe two, but possibly three. That's actually quite nice. I really like the tone of that green as well. It's like dirty apple kind of color which is kind of the vibe we're going for we're going for an apple theme here so this is just going to go about halfway into my crease i'm not bringing it the whole way because i am as i said doing a two-toned crease so i want to make sure i still have space for my other color especially since they're quite contrasting so we don't want any muddiness happening if we can help it not worrying too much right now about blending just getting the colour nice and even and opaque. It has applied very well though. So I'm going to take the same shade on a Cash Beauty K10 brush. And it's just a really small little smudgy brush. Same brush because I don't want to keep picking this palette up to show you guys. So I'm going to do kind of do each shadow only once if I can help it. So I am going to take that along the lower lash line. Again, only about halfway across. Because we are going to apply the burgundy shade on the inside. And just build this up as thick as you want to. Just making sure you're connecting on that outer corner. That's the most important part. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this shade just below that one. I could do this one. But this one is a little bit more of a dirtier kind of lighter green. And I'm just going to use a bit of that to blend. Just to see how it blends out. And I'm taking that on a 6SS from Inglot. Nice big fluffy brush. We're just going to go to town blending this out. So it's going to be very similar. It's not really going to look like I've applied another shade to blend. It just gives me a softer version of that green to help the edge blend out. So just blending all around these edges. You could as well just use a clean brush, but I just want to use more shades of the palette. So now I'm taking a 219 brush from MAC, a nice kind of thick pencil brush, and I'm going to take that same color again and just use that to blend out the lower lash line. So like you did on top, just 
overlap the edge of the first screen and then start blending down until you're happy. Also connecting your blend on the outer corner, making sure it all looks like a flows lovely together. I'm, I'm quite surprised at the quality of this. Um, I know some of the more recent kind of palettes from Morphe weren't great and I've never really been interested in actually buying a palette from Morphe just because I don't usually like big palettes like this. As I said, it's too much effort to keep having me keep showing you guys, but obviously they're great value, great for starting out. It ju they just remind me of the Coastal Sense palettes from years ago, but I've done those, do you know what I mean? As, as a makeup artist, I'm, I'm past that now. Um, but I did love the colour story in this. So I think that's why I was drawn in. Okay, so I just want to deepen up a little bit and I'm going to take this really deep khaki greeny brown. There is a black as well. Well, I mean, it looks black to me, but I'm going to take that darker green shade and I'm taking that on a Cash Beauty K08. So uh, the smallest fluffy brush I think it is in that set. Taking up a small bit at a time and we're just going to slowly deepen this up. I don't want this colour to take over, it's just to deepen this outer corner. And also, I want to see how these layer because I know that they, some people have said they don't layer great. You're better off starting with your darker shade and building up. I just want to see how it works this way because I did want the focus to be that first screen I put down. Not gonna lie to you guys, I'm kind of hung over today. <laughs> but I was like, oh, I still want to film though. It's my day off and I want to film. I was very hung over this morning. I was not having a fun time. Much better now though. I feel fine now. I don't do well with hangovers. <laughs> Not that I think anyone does, but some people can function. I don't. I, I can't function with a headache. So I can function with anything else. But if I have a headache, it makes me feel nauseous because when I have a migraine, I feel nauseous. So whenever I have a headache, it gives me the same sensation and it just makes you feel really nauseous. And then obviously being hungover, <laughs> nausea is a big, big factor of that. So um, I was just not, not, of, not okay today, but I hit that point then when, you know, when you're just groggy and you're not unwell and you're not in pain anymore, hit that point and that's my favourite point of hangover day is that moment when the pain and the nausea goes away and I'm just like, oh, I feel okay. <laughs> that did layer up really nicely, I have to say. Then I'm going to go back in with the very first brush that I used for the first screen and just go around that and just wherever you feel like you've lost a bit of that lighter green, add it back in. You know, making sure that the dark shade is blending nicely and behaving himself. I'm going to take that same shade on the K10 brush, the small one we used for the lower lash line at first. And just use that right into the root of the lashes. Again, make sure you connect on the outer corner. And just build up until you're happy. I'm loving these colours, I'm loving this look. And I'm actually really liking the formula. Okay, so we could very easily just slap a shimmer on this. Fix the blend on the inside and off you go. You've got a beautiful green grungy smoky eye. But no, no, no. We're gonna make this weird as per usual. I'm gonna go in with this shade down here. So the second last row, third one in from the left when you're looking at it. Um, so this burgundy here, I'm gonna take that on a Makeup Geek Defined Crease Brush. So again, another small little blending brush, a little bit smaller than that other one that I used. We're gonna pick some of this up. This is just our deepening shade, but I'm starting with this so I can blend with the other one. And just a small bit at a time, just get in and focus on this part of the crease now. Don't go too close to the green if you can help it. Just right beside it. Don't even try to blend it yet. Probably don't even try to blend it if, if you're uncomfortable with the contrast of these colours. I'm just kind of going right beside it. Okay, so taking the same exact shade just on another small little brush. You can just wipe your brushes in between. Really make sure that the colour is off and thus you don't get any muddiness. Um, we're just going to take that on the inner part of this lower lash line. Again, as thick as you want and just right beside each other with that green. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with this one here, which is more, definitely more of like a berry red kind of shade, like not full on red, but in that family kind of almost has a bit of a pinkiness to it. And I'm gonna take that on a K06 brush also from the Cash Beauty set. It's the biggest fluffy brush that's in that set. And we're gonna use that shade to blend out that inner part, because this is quite purple, but I want it to be that bit more red. So we're gonna use this now to Red it up, but I've already got my depth there because all the other shades are quite like uh, they also have a bit of an orangey tone to them, which I don't want. I'm just go slowly, we're just going to blend this up, bring it up as high as you want in here. You don't even have to do this, but you could literally keep it further down or just do this lighter red. You don't have to do the darker one, but it is spooky season after all, so we're going for weird. And for blending in here, do it as little as you can, you know what I mean? Like, do blend it, but as little as you can. 
as you're happy with like I'm already happy with how that looks now if I go any further than that it's gonna look a mess okay so same color just a slightly smaller brush this is a BH Cosmetics Rose Gold number 10 just a smaller little pencil brush you could use your other pencil brush you can use your big fluffy brush whatever you want to use Um, it's just to blend that lower lash line part with the purple on it so just going in with this and I am using this size of a brush because it is that bit smaller than the bigger pencil brush so just keep that in mind on these smaller areas that that's what you're going to want really. I'm blending this down far enough because again it gives that kind of almost bruisey look to the eye which I love. You don't have to but I love. Okay so now we're going to get into the super fun and glorious part which is the shimmer. So we're going to do green on this half and then the pigment that I'm going to show you in a few minutes on the inside part here. So I'm just going to take my NYX glitter primer like I always do and I'm just going to take that on my finger just to apply it because again I'm not really doing like creasy action or anything like that. Um, I am going to do one eye at a time though because I want to still have the tackiness going. So we're just going to do all the shimmers on one eye first. So I'm I don't know I'm kind of skeptical of the shimmers in this palette because I wouldn't say they're the most foiled looking. They kind of remind me of some MAC shades, they remind me of some Urban Decay shades. Some melt shades as well, the kind of drier formula with the shimmers, not the really foiled ones. So I'm skeptical. We'll go with that. So we're going to split this into like three parts on the lid. So the very outer part here, we're going to use a really darker, like the darkest kind of shimmery green in the palette. Then the center part is going to be the brighter shimmer. And then the very inner part is going to be the more burgundy shimmer. So the first shimmer is this one up in the top corner. It's this one up here. There is this one, but this one kind of has like a pink sparkle in it which I don't really want I want to keep one side to be more green and then the other side is going to be more burgundy so we're going to use the other one which is just like a normal shimmer and he's going to go right next to the matte shades out here oh not the worst in the world yeah that's pretty nice I like that so I'm not as I said like bringing it in too far because I still want to keep space for two other shimmers so you're just kind of overlapping it a little bit with that darker matte out here but then once we get to the next green, that will also overlap this. So that's all we're kind of doing. We're just kind of laying it in the section that I wanted to go in. There is some fallout from this palette, but nothing that hasn't just dusted away. So I'm going to go in with this shade now, which is a bit more of a like apple-y green. Again, all apple themes for this look. We're going to pick some of that up and that's going to go in the middle part of the eye. So just overlap that a little bit with that darker green. You can always go back in. And in fact, I recommend going back and forward between the two until you're happy with your blend. But we are going to leave a nice, decent gap in here for the pigment because the pigment is probably going to be the star of the show. That lighter green, though, also has them pink flecks in it, which I actually really like because then it's almost like this side is the more like dirty khaki green into the more limey green with the pink flecks and then onto the pinkier tones. I like it. I'm just going to take the brush that I used to deepen. So with the darkest matte shade the k08 and just tap that right in that corner there just where it meets that shimmer and then our last little part is going to be so fun this is the inglot pigment in the shade 86 it's just the most duochrome multi-chrome i think in my eyes it looks like a multi-chrome anyway like i don't know if you can even see that but you'll see when it's on and in pictures all the pictures are on my instagram down below it's quite a flaky pigment so i'm kind of taking it into the lid and smushing it and tapping off the excess and he's going to go on that inner part in here can you see that it's so magical inglot pigments do not get the love they deserve i swear like i don't use them enough nobody uses them enough i want more i want them all especially these kind of ones where they're super sparkly. like look at that look how sparkly that is it's not even just like foiled and metallic, it's sparkles. Oh my god, it's so pretty. There is fallout from this because it is a loose pigment, which is a given really. But I'm kind of just pulling that a little bit across that green and let it just be magical. Look at it. Just look. Look at it. Oh my god. Okay, so last little step, just going back into that palette and I'm going to take this just top kind of golden, soft gold kind of shade and we're going to use that on the inner corner. This is just a little Charles Fox brush that I have. I don't know what the number is of it. I I got it when I did my makeup course a million years ago. So just taking some of that and then just throw that on that inner corner. Because this is the focus now. Do you know what I mean? So the inner corner is just, this is just to give a little bit of brightness. Okay, so that is the look so far. I'm in love. I just want to take that pigment and put it like everywhere. All over my face, everywhere. Because it's so magical and glorious and I do not use it enough. So I want to do a whole look surrounding it. So... 
I'm going to jump off. I'm going to do some sort of liner, lashes, lips, all that kind of stuff. And I'll come back to you and show you what I use on my face. Alrighty guys, so this is how I have finished off the look. I am so in love with this. This is such like autumn, kind of witchy, very like Sanderson sister kind of vibe. That's like, that's the kind of look I think I'm getting from this or kind of feelings I'm getting from it. Very hocus pocus. So let me show you what I used on my face. So to finish off the eyes, I went in with my Urban Decay 24 seven glide on eye pencil in the shade zero, just on my waterline. I also tight lined a little bit cause I was gonna do a winged liner and just to save any gappiness or anything like that. Then for my winged liner, I went in with my NYX vinyl liquid liner in the shade black. Just a simple, nothing too dramatic for me anyway. Um, I normally do something a little bit bigger than this, but just enough to kind of help with the wing shape, but I didn't want to take it over. I want all the focus to be on the colors that's on the eye. Then my mascara is my usual, my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara until I run out of it and then I'll move on to something else. Even though I'm kind of using my Essence one at the same time, but I'm just kind of going between the two. And then for lashes, I have these guys here. These are the False Flutters from Maura Higgins, who is an Irish, she was on Love Island and she's like a influencer, which I call no. I know she's a presenter right now. She's presenting the glow up. These are the show off lashes. So they're very long, like super long, but like small little tufts of lashes and they're really wingy as well. So I thought that it would go really nice with the shape of the eye. Plus it doesn't cover up a lot because they're not hugely dense either. So I just want to be able to see all the colors and that gorgeous pigment. Then for contour, I went in with my Benefit Dallas bronzer very much loved and yeah I just use that to contour and bronze up my face a little bit. My blush is actually this guy here this is the Inglot Freedom System Fusion Blush and Illuminator so it's like a matte blush with a like a satin kind of glowy blush on the side here so it's kind of got like got the more glowy side and the more matte side here. This is in the shade 204 which is just a very kind of soft pinky warm neutral and it's just, I didn't want to take away from the face, but I still wanted to add a nice bit of color. So that's what we got here. And I kind of just mixed the two together because it kind of gives like a satin sort of blush. And then for highlight to try and match that gorgeous pigment a little bit, I went in with my MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Show Gold. This is just Christmas packaging, but they do sell this normally in their permanent range, just not in pretty packaging. Mine's just in really nice packaging. Um, But it's basically like a gold to pink shift. So kind of the way this is like a rust, pink copper sort of shift with the uh, pigment, but I think it goes really well. And then for a lip, it would be a Halloween-y sort of lip without a dark lip. So I went in with my MAC Burgundy Lip Liner, just a burgundy lip liner. <laughs> That's the only way to describe it. And then on the actual lips, I went in with my MAC lipstick in the shade D for Danger. I'm gonna pop a little bit more on. Beautiful, love it. So that is our look. I love how this turned out. I just had this image in my head of like an apple if that's if like i don't know if that makes sense like an apple that's a little bit green and a little bit red like a poisoned apple something like that i don't know it's like a sour apple like just whatever it is you'll find out by the title anyway you already know it by now but that was the kind of vibe i was going for like apple cider like i don't know what i don't know what it was it was just this in my head and i was like that's a really autumn kind of theme for me anyway i don't know why but I loved it and I think it turned out really well. Just have that little bit of red, burgundy into the green, plus that pigment is just, mwah, it's everything right now. So I'm definitely gonna be getting more Inglot pigments. If you did like this video, give me a big thumbs up down below. It's the quickest, simplest and easiest way to give me a little bit of support, get me around to more people and also let me know you like the video and I will continue to do more. And we have more spooky season coming up. Don't you worry guys, there's more coming. Also, we're going into winter time, so we're going into the Christmas season and I'll be doing some Christmassy themed videos and also kind of rounding up the year as well. So doing favourites of the year, reviewing my favourites of last year and also ranking some palettes that I've used this year or all the palettes. As I said in the beginning, my Instagram is linked down below. Also, my TikTok is linked down below where I do funny, weird kind of transition videos. And also you'll see the up close pictures of my eyes and full face pictures on my Instagram. All listed down below, so go check that out. And on my Instagram stories in December, I will be opening advent calendars on my stories. So you have to go follow me for that. And finally, let me know in the comments what you think of this look. Does this give you like a sour apple, poisoned apple kind of vibe? Because that's what it gives me. And I just really, really like how this turned out. I'm feeling this. I love it. So I want to hear all your feedback down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.